correct, yes. And what is it that you do? I'm the spokesperson for the Northeast Region of the National Park Service. And what do you want to tell us? Um, one of your reporters called and asked about what was happening at the Ellis Island. Okay, and, and uh, we, we, yeah, we just heard from uh, our Barry Cunningham that right. Liberty Park uh, the t in that area is going to be set up as a virtual field hospital. Like mass units. Could yes. you, could you uh, elaborate on that, please? Um, well, Liberty is a state park, and um, Ellis Island is a national park, and we understand that Ellis Island is being used um, for some of the injured. They're passing through there, being treated, and then being taken to hospitals from there. Can you give us a description of what we might see if we were able to see it right now? Do you know what the scene is? Um, no, I, I can't because I'm in Philadelphia and I don't... I don't oh, in Philadelphia. Perfect. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I yeah. didn't catch that. Well, as far as you understand what, what the procedures are in something like this, does the National Park Service have contingencies uh, for such events like this when you actually are called into this kind of service? Uh, sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. We have um, law enforcement rangers and EMT, um, people who are trained in um, medical, emergency medical, um, and so they would be helping. Mm -hmm. All right, Kathy DiLeonardo from the National Park Service, thank you very much. We will uh, hopefully be able to uh, at some point get out in the area of Ellis Island and find out uh, more about this for ourselves. It, it appears that really what's happening as far as trying to get medical help to the many people injured here is that they're taking many of them away by water, by ferry, over the Hudson River, literally stopping on Ellis Island on the way, and in another case is continuing on to Jersey City to uh, Liberty State Park uh, that Barry was talking about there. In many ways, because of the traffic and the congestion and the problems of getting everything up north, it's, it appears that they're taking the water route, which is the clearest route to get people over to New Jersey. And you wonder if they practice things along this line. I'm sure that no, this was never expected, anything this devastating, but they have been ready for all kinds of terrorist activities. Nothing on this, mag this nothing, magnitude. Nothing on this scale, of but course. It, it sounds as though they're being pretty well organized. You know, we, we cover uh, all the time drills. Uh, right. that the city emergency management agency runs in case of such a terrorist event like this. I think one of the ironies um, about this is that the multi-million dollar emergency system uh, that was inaugurated, I think, about a year ago, maybe mm -hmm. a little bit longer, is located where? In the World Trade Center. Right. Uh, and therefore uh, rendered fairly uh, useless uh, today, and they've moved to other locations temporarily. Okay, we're going to visit another hospital. We're going to go back to Joe Chaffee. He's at Nassau County, at the uh, Nassau County University Hospital, I believe it's called. Joe? Correct, Heidi. We are still waiting uh, the uh, burn victims, seven or eight burn, burn victims, that were tra being transported by ferry to uh, Glen Cove. And then, and this is where it gets a little uh, hairy with respect to information because communications have been uh, very, very difficult between here and Glen Cove, whether they are being choppered in or whether they are coming by land route, but everyone is still st on standby. We have doctors and nurses at the emergency room door waiting for them. Uh, we have uh, quite a bit of security, uh, bomb-sniffing dogs. Uh, they're not taking any chances here at uh, Lasso University Medical Center. They're checking every car going in and out. Uh, earlier, we reported that uh, they had stopped ex accepting blood donations, uh, but I have now been told that they have now started again. If anyone wants to, wants to give blood, they uh, can come until 9 o'clock this evening and then again tomorrow morning. Uh, but uh, as of now, they are now again ex accepting uh, blood donations for anyone that wants to give blood. Uh, we are just uh, in wait, uh, waiting for either a chopper or the string of ambulances to bring uh, the burn victims. They have, uh, they have up to 200 beds ready uh, if they need to take on additional victims uh, later on tonight. Heidi? Joe, thank you. We just got uh, bad news, more bad news on top of bad news. Uh, the uh, Tower 7, the, uh, the uh, building, one of the, other the world, uh, one of the other buildings, the World Trade Center that we said was leaning and been in danger of collapsing, has just collapsed. Has just collapsed. And so... Um, I think you'd see when you looked at the... Tom, can you get us, can you get us the, the, the long shot from Midtown again? I think what we... What we actually saw there uh, was, there you go. Yes, you can see, if, you, if, 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 you've, been, oh, uh, if you've been watching, uh, you can see the, the smoke had kind of taken on certain patterns. Well, now it's got a whole new pattern out there because another building has collapsed. You can see that the amount of smoke and debris uh, going up into the air has uh, increased once again. So now three of the seven uh, World Trade Center buildings uh, do not exist any longer. Uh, because of today's terrorist attacks, and we understand that one other of them uh, is, is still burning, still on fire. 
you just wonder what in the world is going on there. We can't get close enough really to see what is happening right now. Yes. The rescue effort is going on, uh, has been going on since 9 o'clock this morning, and now in the middle of all of this, we have yet another collapse and God well, knows how many other. Well, categories. that is where the, um, the heart of the story uh, lies. Uh, certainly what we don't know uh, is, is how bad is it? Um, no journalists, no cameras. That's the view south from City Hall. It looks uh, pretty, that's, a, that's as close to ground zero as, as anybody's been able to get right there once the police lines were set up. And as you can see, the canyon's still filled with choking smoke and dust. We just don't know what the situation is there. We don't know if the building collapsed on people. We don't know if the evacuation procedures took them far enough away from the buildings that the collapses uh, perhaps didn't do as much damage as we fear they did. see more emergency workers going into the um, area it's, to help it's, out. It's, it's, so much is, uh, is unknown right now, particularly uh, the thing that we all care about the most, what is the casualty count. Exactly, and how many people are going to be saved. They're just right now concentrating on that, hopefully rescuing and saving as many people as they, they still can. That is the object at this point. As you've heard Mayor Giuliani say, uh, so many other matters are going to have to be put sort of on the back burner while we simply try to save the people who were injured, uh, from what we understand, hundreds of people uh, were critically injured, many of them burned, uh, taken to St. Vincent's Hospital, taken to further outlying hospitals that uh, have expertise in burn treatment, and um, that is going to be going on for some time. And I think, Kaidi, that there, the, the effort to recover both bodies and perhaps survivors somewhere in the midst of that rubble is going to continue on through the night, much as oh, we've seen before when we watched a, a coverage of, of, of earthquake yes. uh, rescues. You see the the, the, the dogs going in there to see if they can uh, uh, detect anything, the listing devices going in to see if, uh, if there are people still alive in there. I suspect we're going to be seeing, I don't know if we'll be seeing it because I imagine the police are going to keep a, a pretty tight cordon around everything there, but I think that may be the situation to take place tonight uh, and into tomorrow as well. Well, you see how empty the streets are right around City Hall, that live shot we just had, and I think people are cooperating. You know, sometimes in situations like this, you do get people running sort of to the scene, trying to get close, trying to, this is not happening. It doesn't seem to be happening this time.